These are the sharks that have been spending the past week off the coastline of the Carolinas, and they even have names. Cabot, Hal, Jane, Jefferson, Brunswick, and last but not least, Luna, a 15-footer who weighs in at more than 2,000 pounds. A 15-foot long white shark is pretty close to a full grown, as, as large as they would ever find. There's a reason Luna and her friends are so well known. They're being tracked by Dr. Robert Huter, a senior scientist for the ocean research organization, OSEARCH. In our studies, we have tagged about 43 sharks, and six of the largest ones are off of the Carolinas. They're not right up close to the beach, so no worries for the swimmers. Huter and his team have been studying the sharks' migration patterns around the world. Luna, for instance, is on a typical migration, moving south to the warmer waters of Florida between October and December, and now making her way back up north for the summer. These sharks have been coming here for millennia. As long as the east coast of the United States has existed, these sharks have been in our waters. Go Jefferson! There's something else here that could also be encouraging these sharks to stick around. So one of the really unique aspects off the North Carolina coast is we have thousands of shipwrecks. Experts say the shipwrecks provide artificial reefs that thousands of fish now call home. So when sharks come in, there's big fish, small fish, this whole food chain that exists on all these wrecks. I do believe we're seeing more sharks come back because because of the protections that are in place. So it's a conservation success story. The next part of the journey for these sharks is up the coast as far north as Newfoundland. Now, shark attacks are rare, but you can take precautions. They're attracted to shiny jewelry, colorful swimsuits, and the risks are greater at night than during the day. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina.